My first song is called Heavenly Sunlight. Walking in sunlight all of my journey, over the mountain, through the deep vale. Jesus had said, I'll never forsake thee, promise divine that never can fail. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing His praises, Jesus is mine. Oh, praise God, shadows around me, shadows above me, never conceal my Savior and God. He is the light, and Him is no darkness, ever I'm walking. Close by his side, heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. In the bright sunlight, ever rejoicing. Pressing my way to mansions above, singing his praises. Gladly I'm walking, walking in sunlight, sunlight of love. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing. Singing his praises, Jesus is mine. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Hallelujah, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. Oh, glory to God, what a wonderful day, beautiful sunlit morning. Oh, the sun came up right on time this morning. Oh, praise God. It came right up. I mean, by 745, that spark, that bright sun was just flooding the place in here. Oh, oh my, 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 my. And I believe that fireball, just about 741, it was already a fireball there that you could see. Uh, see a rising, just like a beach ball on the horizon, shining well, like a fireball, and then by 745, it outs come the bright light, and that's the way, the way it did in my soul <laughs> this morning, too, when I got up. Oh, <laughs> it started like a, a fireball, and fire burning deep within my soul and my spirit, and a fire shut up in my bones, and then it became a spark that went to shining all through my body and got me feeling better and better and better. Oh, praise God. <laughs> Didn't need no coffee or anything to get going. Didn't need nothing. Had the sunlight in my soul that just got me running. I got out and ran this morning, a nice crisp morning. Enjoyed running with the dogs and everything. We all had so much fun <laughs> and everything. Uh, did a lot of stuff and then came in and started working on these videos. I just had a, having a tremendous time. Oh, man. <laughs> Better than any human being deserves to have I'm having here. Oh, praise God. It's just glorious. Oh, let us see. Oh, well, let me see what this next song is. The next song is called In the Cross, or G keep, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. The sun is out bright, and I'm feeling right. What a glorious, glorious day. The sun is out bright. And everything's right. What a wonderful, wonderful day. There's sunlight all along my way. What a wonderful, wonderful day. There's sunlight all along my way. And I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy. 
down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the bubbly, 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 bubbly down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I got the bubbly, 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 bubbly down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got the peace that passes understand. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I got the peace that passes understanding. Down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Oh, down in my heart today. Jesus, keep me near the cross, in the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There a precious fountain free to all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, a trembling soul, love and mercy found me, there the bright and morning star says its beams around me. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, O Lamb of God, bring its saints before me. Help me walk from day to day. With its shadows on me, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, I'll watch and wait, <coughs> hoping, trusting ever, till I reach the golden strand just beyond the river and the cross. In the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, I was and wait. Hoping, trusting ever, till I see my Savior's face and leave his presence never. 
in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There are precious fountains free to all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain in the cross, in the cross. Be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. And my next song is called Springs of Living Water. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I don't know where that sun has gone. It, it was there just a minute ago. It was shining bright. And then uh, just about the time I, I started, uh, I was having a little bit of problem getting it on. And then it was shining all the way across there. And then by the time I got it, uh, the camera and everything turned on and right, right and everything. And then uh, the, so a cloud seemed to have come over. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a cloud over there now. And... Uh, whatever you know <laughs> anyway you know uh, it was a bright sunshine just streaming across there beautiful sunlight now there's a cloud over maybe it'll it'll pass on uh but anyway we got the springs of living water in our soul so we don't even wear i don't even worry about what's going on outside <laughs> let it snow or whatever you know <laughs> praise the lord because i got the springs of living water in my soul Oh, praise the Lord. Says, I thirsted in the barren land of sin and shame, and uh, nothing satisfying there I found. Uh, but to the blessed cross of Christ, uh, my, one day I came, where springs of living water did abide. Drinking at the springs of living water. Happy now am I, my soul is satisfied, drinking at the lake of living water, oh, wonderful and beautiful supply. Oh, praise God. How sweet the living water from the last hills of God, it makes me glad and happy all the day. Now, glory, grace, and blessing. Uh, mark the path I've trod I'm shouting hallelujah all the day Drinking in the springs of living water Happy now am I My soul is satisfied Drinking at the springs of living water Oh, valuable and beautiful supply Oh, sinner, won't you come today to Calvary? A fountain there is flowing deep and wide. The Savior now invites you to the water's fine, where thirsting spirits can be satisfied. Drinking at the spirit streams of living water. Happy now am I, my soul is satisfied. Drinking at the springs of living water. Oh, wonderful and bountiful supply. I thirsted in the barren land of sin and shame. And nothing satisfying there I found. But to the blessed cross of Christ one day I came. Where springs of living water did abide. Drinking at the springs of living water. Happy now am I, my soul is satisfied. Drinking at the springs of living water. Oh, beautiful, 
a wonderful and bountiful supply. Uh, how sweet the living waters from the hills of God. It makes me glad and happy all the day. The glory, grace, and blessing mark the path I trod. I'm shouting hallelujah all the day. Breaking at the strings of living water. Happy now am I. My soul is satisfied. Drinking at the springs of blood and water. Oh, that wonderful and bountiful supply. Oh, sinner, won't you come today to Calvary? A fountain there is flowing deep and wide. The Savior now invites you to the waters free, where thirsting spirits can be satisfied. Drinking at the streams of living water. Happy now am I, my soul is satisfied. Drinking at the springs of living water. Oh, bountiful and wonderful and bountiful supply. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Whoa, I keep wanting to say beautiful supply, but it is a beautiful supply when you start seeing those springs of living water and they start they start bubbling up in your soul and everything it's a, it's really a beautiful thing beautiful experience oh praise god to feel that fire it's worth it all to feel that fire feel that fire deep in your soul it's worth praying through and getting it oh yes it's a thousand times greater than any other spirit you could ever have oh yes praise the lord yes this little light of mine is burning in with <laughs> a burning so divine. This little light of mine is burning so divine. This little light of mine is burning so divine. It is fine, it is fine, it is fine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine all the time. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, let it shine, let it shine all the time. I'm gonna let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine all the time. And my next song is called, Oh, yeah, Blessed Assurance. Yeah, I got the blessed assurance that I've got this light that can shine. Oh, praise God, and I'm going to let it shine. I've got the assurance. I'm going to let that blessed assurance shine. <laughs> praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Mm -mm -mm. Romans 8, uh, 38 and 39. Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. <laughs> Visions of rapture <coughs> do burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, 
praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, always at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. I'm filled with his goodness. I'm lost in his love. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. I'm born of his spirit. I'm washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect, uh, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. Per uh, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, I'm filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Oh, praise God. Glory, hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, how marvelous that we can praise the Lord Jesus. We can praise our Savior all day long when the sun is shining and when it's not shining so bright and when there's a cloud in the way. Oh, we can still praise the Savior. And I'm, and I'm going to praise Him louder now that the sun is, is a little bit dim right now. Oh, praise God. I hope it comes back out. Oh, glory God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It was such a beautiful, it was so, so beautiful for so many, for several hours there, just beautiful sunlight. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise the Lord. And this next song is called, When We All Get to Heaven. Oh, praise God. <laughs> oh, isn't that glorious? When we all get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. And the mansions bright and blessed. He'll prepare for us a place. Oh, when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. While we walk this pilgrim pathway, clouds will over spread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing 
and shout the victory. But when traveling, uh, well, we'll sing and shout the victory while we walk this pilgrim pathway. Clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow on the side. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Onward to the prize before us. Oh, yes, uh, uh, soon his beauty will be whole. Soon the pearly gates will open. We shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, We'll sing and shout the victory. Oh, praise God. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, when we all get to heaven, Oh, we'll sing and shout the victory. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. And the mansions bright and blessed will prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. While we walk this pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. Onward to the prize before us. Soon his beauty will be whole. So the party gates will open. We shall tread the streets of gold when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Oh, we got a good lineup this morning. Oh, the sun's back out now, but it's uh, moving. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, it's one of those uh, times when that cloud is just kind of going over and then coming out and going over. <laughs> oh, praise God. And then this next song is called, There's Within My Heart a Melody. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just thank God springs on its way. And there's going to be longer days. There's going to be a lot more. The sun's going to shine bright. Oh, a lot longer. <laughs> In just a few weeks. <clears throat> there's, there's within my heart a melody. There's within my heart. <clears throat> there's, there's within my heart a melody. There's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear that I with the peace be still. In all of some sin and flow. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sweetest name I know. 
fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Feasting on the riches of his grace, resting on his neat, his sheltering wing, always looking on his smiling face. That is why I shout and sing, Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Soon he's coming back to welcome me, far beyond the starry sky. I shall wing my ways to worlds unknown. I will reign with him on high. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing and keeps me singing as I go. Oh, praise God. I keep thinking that there should be another stanza that starts with like discord. Fill my soul, and then along come, and then he, he tuned, they made the, he tuned the chords to where they sang in harmony again. There's a verse like that somewhere. Oh, praise God. There's within my heart a melody, Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee, peace be still, and all of thy self and flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go, feasting on the riches of his grace, resting neath his sheltering wing, always looking on his smiling face. That is why I shout and sing. Oh, Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Soon he's coming back to welcome me, far beyond the starry sky. I shall wing my Flight to worlds unknown, I shall reign with him on high. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Keeps me singing as I go. Praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah. This is wonderful. What a wonderful lineup of songs. Oh, it's just keeping me singing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm just singing. Oh, praise God. I'm loving these songs. And this next one, oh my goodness, it's worth it all. It'll be worth it all. It is worth it all. It says, I don't want a mansion on the hillside. I don't care. For wealth or worldly fame. I don't worry when those around me prosper so. For I have Jesus, and that's worth everything. It's worth it all to feel the fire that's burning deep within. It's worth it all to know. I am safe and free from sin, just to feel his touch and know that he is coming back again. It's worth it all, it's worth it all. Oh, praise God. Once my life was dark and oh so weary, every day. I lived just seemed in vain, but those nail-scarred hands uh, uh, reached down and gently touched me. Now I am, 
now I have Jesus, and that's worth everything. It's worth it all to know. I am safe and free from sin. It's worth it all to feel the fire that's burning deep within. Just to know, just to feel his touch and know that he is coming back again. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. It's worth it all to feel the fire that's burning deep within. It's worth it all to know I am safe and free from sin. <coughs> Just to feel his touch and know that he is coming back again. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. I don't want a mansion on the hillside. I don't care for wealth or worldly fame. I don't worry when those around me prosper so for i have jesus and that's worth everything it's worth it all to feel fire that's burning deep within it's worth it all to know i am safe and free from sin just to feel his touch and know that he is coming back again. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. Oh, once my life was dark and oh so empty. Every day I lived just seemed in vain. But those nail-scarred hands reached down and gently touched me. Now I have Jesus, and that's worth everything. It's worth it all to feel fire that's burning deep within. It's worth it all to know that I am safe and free from sin. Oh, just to feel his touch and know that he is coming back again. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. Oh, praise God. Oh, did Jesus praise the Lord. Save, save. This next song is Save, Save by His Power Divine. Oh, I have found a friend in Jesus who is all the world. Jesus love is true or true. Okay. I'm trying to do the lily of the valley. Well, that's a good one too. But this one's saved, saved by his power divine. I have found a friend who is all to me. His love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me and what his grace can do for you. Saved by his power divine, saved to new life sublime. Life now is sweet and I know it's complete for I'm saved, saved, saved. When poor and needy and all alone in love he said to me, Come unto me and I'll lead you home. To live with me eternally, saved by his power divine. Said to do love sublime. I like now is sweet and my joy is complete. For I'm safe, safe, safe. He saves me from every sin and harm. Secures my soul each day. I'm leading 
strong on his mighty heart. I know he'll guide me all the way. Saved by his power divine, saved to do love sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete for I'm saved, saved, saved. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I have found a friend who is all to me. His love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me and what his grace can do for you. Saved by his power divine. Save to new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete for I'm saved, saved, saved. When poor and needy and all alone in love, he said to me, Come unto me and I'll lead you home. Live with me eternally, saved by his power divine, saved in you life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete, for I'm saved, saved, saved. He saves me from every sin and harm, secures my soul. Each day I'm leading strong on his mighty arm. I know he'll guide me all the way. Saved by his power divine, saved to new life sublime. Life now is sweet, the joy is complete. So I'm saved, saved. Say, praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is that all the songs? That sure did go fast. I think I ought to have about 10 more. Whoa, praise God. That's so wonderful. Them songs are so glorious. And so now it is time then for my, my commentary. Oh, praise God. Let me see that sunlight. Let me see. It's, yeah. There's that sun there, see, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's finally out there, uh, oh, praise God, it's, well, let me get my, <laughs> right there is that sun, it's coming in, <laughs> now it's shining too late to come in, right, the right way like I wanted it to, oh, praise the Lord, <laughs> glory to God, oh, thank you, Jesus, oh, praise God, oh, praise God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. And so now it is time for my uh, my commentary on these songs. And that is a glory, always a glorious time because then we get to read the poetry and we get to really get into the words. And oh, my, my, sometimes we can get to enjoy the singing, you know. And <laughs> especially those that have a good voice can get to enjoy the singing and everything, you know, and get to listen to that and, and miss the words of the song, you know. And so now we're going to do a commentary so we can make sure and read the words and, and not miss a word of it because these words are so wonderful that we don't want to miss a word. I don't want to miss a word of these songs. And it helps me remember them too if I sing it first and then I go over it and comment on it and read the words. And then pretty soon I have it memorized. And uh, the more memorized I have, the, the, all the better I can sing it. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh, Heavenly Sunlight is the first song. The first song was Heavenly Sunlight. Oh, walking in sunlight. That's how I enjoy That's what I was doing this morning. Oh, walking in that beautiful sunlight and that nice crisp morning and everything. Oh, these Januarys are so nice for sunlight. Oh, dear God. And walking in sunlight all of my journey over the mountains. 
<laughs> I didn't go quite that far, but <laughs> I felt like it with all that sunlight out like it was, you know, but going clear over and crossing the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. All of my journey uh, over the mountains through the deep veil. <laughs> oh, 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 my. Jesus has said, I'll never forsake thee. Whoa! <laughs> Matthew chapter 28, verses 18, 19, and 20. All power. I can't get over that. Part. All power. It's given unto me on heaven, in heaven, and on earth. So go ye. <laughs> That's all we need. All power, go ye. Go ye into all the world, teaching him to observe whatsoever I have commanded you. You know, all my principles. Obey my principles. Baptizing them. Oh, get them baptized. Baptizing them in the name of of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Oh, praise God. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. While you're witnessing, while you're getting them in, <laughs> while you're getting them saved, while you're, they're getting baptized and everything, Jesus is there. Jesus is there baptizing them. <laughs> oh, baptizing them with water and with the Spirit and in His blood. He's doing it. Jesus is there. Oh, and He says, all power. you got the power to do it. He says, I've given you the power to witness. Go witness. Oh, praise God. Giving you the power to bring them in. Giving you the power to throw out that reel and reel them in <laughs> and fill the church houses. Oh, praise God! Maybe we could get a little shouting going, you know, if we could do it. If we if we could get enough of that going. Oh, praise the Lord! Mm -mm -mm. Oh yes, but He said, Jesus said, "I'll never forsake thee." Promise divine that never can fail. I will. He said also in another place. Uh, for, uh, I promise that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And uh, chorus two, shadows around me, shadows above me, never conceal my Savior and God. He is the light. In him is no darkness. Ever I'm walking close to his side. Oh, goodness gracious alive. Oh, and he's never going to forsake us so we can always be walking near his side. Oh, my, 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 so marvelous. Mm -mm -mm. And then number three, it says, uh, in the bright sunlight, yeah, <laughs> in the bright sunlight, ever rejoicing, pressing my way to Mansions above, you know, oh, praise God, you know, you ever pass down below those mountain mansions up on the hillsides, you know, and everything, you know, and, and, uh, and look up there, you know, and all oh, this going all the way across and everything, man, one mansion after another, you say, you know, you say, I'm, I'm going to press my way on up <laughs> and get a closer look. Oh, praise the Lord. And so, uh, pressing my way to mansions above. <laughs> oh, they're way up there. <laughs> oh, dear God, they're gonna be they're gonna be more marvelous than anything we can imagine in our heart. We can't even imagine. You can't imagine all the things that we've been prepared for them that love you. We can't imagine all the joys, all the peace, and all the happiness, and all the love, and all the rest of it. And we can't imagine the either the size of the luxuriousness or the comfort or the uh, glorious shining of those in the way they're gonna shine. We can't imagine that. You can't even imagine. You can try all you want to. You can think of the best matches you can ever think of, and it won't be anything to compare with those matches above. So we're pressing our way to them so we can see what they are. <laughs> like, praise God, the matches above. Oh. And so uh, uh, singing, we're pressing our way to matches above, singing his praises. You know, it's like that song, until then, my heart will go on singing. I know that I'm not there yet, but until then, my heart will go on singing until I see that. 
singing his praises gladly I'm walking. <laughs> you know, walking, walking, walking on to freedom land. We're walking, walking, walking. We're talking, talking, talking. We're gonna keep on talking. We're gonna keep on singing. We're gonna keep on walking. Walking, walking, walking until we reach the freedom land. Oh, freedom land. Oh, freedom land. Walking, walking, walking till we reach the freedom land. Walking, singing his praises, glory and uh, gladly I'm walking. Walking in sunlight, sunlight of love. Ooh, all that love in sunlight. That love that provides sunlight and that sunlight of his love. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. And so I, it says this the next song over here. It says, grab your coat and, and snap your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with uh, the uh, blues uh, on parade. <laughs> uh, but now I'm walking on the sunny side of the street with gold dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street. <laughs> I got that one packed in there right at the end of that heavenly sunlight. Oh, it's sort of a, a metaphor for me. And Lord, oh, praise God. And so the next song I sung was, uh, uh, the next song I sung was In the Cross. Oh, that's how we get in that sunlight. We get near, we stay near the cross. That cross is the sunlight. Oh, the sunlight that shines and beams out of that cross of Calvary where the blood was shed to save us forever from sin. Oh, what a sunlight it is. My, 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 my. Jesus, keep me near that cross. Oh, there a there's a, there is a precious fountain there. He says, uh, a precious fountain is there. Uh, did you ever think about that, that? That there's a precious fountain there? Of all the peace and the power and the love and the joy and everything else. And it's free to all, you know? <laughs> you know, just like you had sparkling uh, spring water flowing out of a fountain, you know, but they had a fence around it or something. and they, But then they opened it up and said, it's free to all. <laughs> <laughs> now it's free to all. It's free to all now to go to that fountain. It's free to all a healing stream. Oh, my, my. The healing power that is in that stream. What healing power is in that stream? Far beyond our imagination, the healing power that is in that stream. But we can start getting some of it. Let us dip in and get some of it. Oh, pray, like I used to say, don't just dip your toe in, jump in all the way. <laughs> like Peter said, don't just wash my feet with my whole body. And so he said, a healing stream, uh, free to all, a healing stream flows from Calvary's, from Calvary's mountain. Ooh, boy, the mountain it is now. Ooh, my, 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 my. Oh, it was on a hill, a hill called Golgotha, but now it's on the mountain of light and energy and healing power. Oh, my, my. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. I will place my, I, I will glorify that forever. That will be my glory. That will be the glory that's on my lips. And hallelujah, praise God for the cross. Hallelujah, praise God for the cross. Glory to God. Oh, God forbid it. I should glory in anything except Christ and him crucified. That's going to be my glory forever. Till my raptured soul, my raptured soul, shall find rest beyond the river. All right, we can have that rapture, that raptured soul, until we get reached the final rapture. <laughs> but we find rest there until we find that we reach that final rapture. Uh, but final rapture and, and uh, rest beyond the river. And that uh, says number two, near the cross, a trembling soul. Oh, near the, near the cross as a trembling soul, uh, I went. Love and mercy found me there. There, the bright and 
the morning star whoo, sheds its beams around me, all around me. Whoa, my, 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 my. You know how it can be real dark, and then all of a sudden that sun will come up, and oh, it'll just shine all around you, you know, and just light everything up. And so everything will sparkle. Oh, man, 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 man. And yeah, but this is what this is. It, it says that bright and morning star. And there at the uh, at the cross, the bright and morning star will shed its beams around me and light up my soul. Near the cross, oh, a Lamb of God. We got to recognize that it is. He was the Lamb of God. The forever pre high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek was the final Lamb of God. No more lamb had to be sacrificed. He was, it was his lamb. The lamb that was there on Calvary was so great that it's the final lamb. And, and it's the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. John 1.29. There the old lamb of God, near the cross, old lamb of God, bring its seeds before me. Oh. Uh, and help me walk from day to day with its shadows or me. You know, that's like uh, he did uh, about it uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Shall dwell in, he that dwells, uh, he that dwells uh, with the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. The secret place of the Most High, you know, shall shall abide in, the, in under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, the Almighty will, uh, you know, not, not like a shadow, like a, a shadow, like a darkness or something, but like a shadow that protects, of protection. The, you know, like as if it's a, the sun is, you know, like it's 130 degrees or something on the desert and the shadow of a, of a cloud or something that protects you, a shadow that overshadows you, that's over you, all over you like an umbrella protecting you from all the evil and the harm and the disease and all that, it, it's with its shadows or me. In the cross, in the cross, near the cross, I'll watch and wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, shall mount up with wings as eagles. Oh, shall run it out be weary, walking out pain. Near the cross, I'll watch and wait, hoping, trusting ever, till I reach the golden strand. Mm -mm -mm. I'll just keep, I'll keep waiting on the Lord and, uh, and His power and His peace and His love and His joy until I reach that golden strand just beyond the river. Near the cross, I will watch and wait. Oh, my, my. Hoping and trusting ever till I see my Savior's face. My, my, my. And leave his presence never. Oh, yes. And so. And, uh, yeah, you can tell that was written by Fanny Crosby. Of course, she's going to see him in, in a double way, both ways, because she was blind all of her life. And so she's going to certainly see him, uh, you know, uh, both physically and spiritually and ever otherwise. And, and all that glory, it is going to be especially glorious for, for her. Of course, she's there now with him now. And she's already seen him, but this was looking forward to seeing him when she wrote this song. She wrote this song back in 1869. Uh Fanny Crosby, who lived from 1820 to 1915. Oh, that's a long time to be blind. Oh, praise God. And um, so she said, uh, till, I, till I see my Savior's face and leave his presence, never in the cross, in the cross be my glory ever, uh, till I reach that golden strand and rest beyond the river. Oh, praise God. Fanny Crosby, 1869. Oh, praise the Lord. Mm -mm. And so, let's see. Uh, did I have anything? No, I don't think there was anything on this other one. Oh, praise God. And so then the next song was The Springs of Living Water. Oh, praise God. And, uh, 
It says, I thirsted in the barren land. You know, the land where there's no water or anything, you know, hot sun, 130 degree weather. It's a barren, barren, there's nothing, no trees. Nothing, you know, you see out on the desert sometimes, you know, no trees or anything for miles and just nothing, you know, just sand or something. Oh, he's, I thirsted in the barren land of sin and strife or shame, sin and shame and nothing satisfying there I found. But to the blessed cross of Christ I came one day where springs of living water did abound. You know, that means it did just flow like this, more than you can imagine, just all over. Just bound, just a, a, a bountiful supply of it, you know. Just abound, that springs of living water, all that water you could ever, ever use. And, and so he says, she says, uh, he says, or whatever wrote it, uh, that drinking at the springs of living water. Happy now am I. My soul they satisfy. Oh, praise God. Well, the sun's out bright now. <laughs> but it's too high up to come in. Uh, oh, praise God. Uh, now uh, my soul they satisfy. Uh, drinking at the springs of living water. Oh, wonderful and bountiful supply. Drinking at the springs of living water, oh, wonderful and bountiful supply. How sweet the living water from the hills of God. Just flowing down the hillside. <laughs> All that water. Oh, my, my, my. It, it makes me glad and happy all the day and all the way. Now, glory, grace, and blessing mark the path that I trod. And so now I'm shouting, Hallelujah! Every day. <laughs> shouting Hallelujah every day. Oh, glory to God. Isn't it wonderful to feel like shouting Hallelujah every day? All the day from the time you first open your eyes till the end of the day, you always you always feel like shouting hallelujah. Oh, that's that springs of living water it causes that. Oh, my, my, get up shouting, go to bed shouting. Oh, can't get to sleep for shouting. <laughs> praise God, get up during the night and shout a little more. Oh, praise the Lord. Woo. My, 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 my. Uh, oh, Oh, yes. And, uh, old, old sinner, won't you come today to Calvary? Because there's a fountain there. A fountain there is flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide. Deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide. Deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain blowing wide, wide and deep, wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain blowing wide and deep. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh just over the hillside, I have a mansion just over the hill. A fountain there is flowing deep and wide. The Savior now invites you to the waters free, the waters that are free, where thirsting spirits can always be satisfied. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Woo! And this next song is called Blessed Assurance. We got a blessed assurance 
uh, absolute persuasion and assurance about that fountain that's flowing deep and wide, about that fountain, that, that springs of living water. We, we can be assured. We can know it's there. It's been promised. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. We are saying we are an heir. We are heir, total heir of that's in our inheritance, uh, and uh, we're, we are heir of that total purchase of God. All of that glory and that power, and that strength, and that and that uh, glorified body, and that mansion, and all that, and the, that this uh, blessed assurance that we're getting now is a foretaste of that, and let's just know for sure because we're already feeling the foretaste of it. Oh my my. An heir of salvation that was a purchase of God. And so now we're born. We're born of his spirit. And you, you know, you're born into that spirit, that eternal spirit, that immortal spirit. That, oh, dear God, you're born into that. You cannot be unborn again. And so we have that assurance that we're born of his spirit and we have been washed in his blood. We have been washed in his blood. We have been born in the spirit. So this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Whoa! <laughs> uh, all the day long. <laughs> oh, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. Perfect delight. Visions of rapture now Burst <laughs> and now burst all over, burst on my sight. Just all we just see it everywhere. All the visions of rapture. Ain't we see the angels descending, uh, bringing from above the all those echoes of mercy and whispers of love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. All is at rest. We've reached that haven of rest. We're resting in the assurance of our salvation and knowing that God has it all in control and God is still on the throne and he's taking care of it. We're always at rest because I am my Savior now. So, now, so I and my Savior now am happy and blessed. And I'm watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness and, uh, as I'm lost in his love. Oh, filled with his goodness and lost in his love. Woo, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. Let's see. <coughs> well, I thought I had the name of that person. Oh, uh, sounds a little like a Fanny Crosby song or something, but I don't see it. Oh, praise God. Anyway, it's a beautiful song. <coughs> and so, uh, Perfect submission, perfect delight. I am my Savior. I'm, happy and I'm resting in my Savior, happy and blessed. And the next song I sung was, Oh, praise God. When we all get to heaven, Oh, praise God. When we, when we all get to heaven, Seeing the wondrous love of Jesus, seeing his mercy, sing about his mercy, sing about his grace. In the mansions, blood and breasted, we know he's preparing for us a place. So we're going to sing about the grace that would do that for us. Sing about that grace. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be <clears throat> when we all see Jesus. We all see him. When we all see Jesus. I can't wait to see Jesus. <clears throat> oh, I cannot wait to see all oh, that, that spiral sunrise when I see Jesus. Coming over the horizon. Oh, my, my, my. 
can't wait to get to heaven and abide with him. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing. <laughs> when I see Jesus, I will sing, you know. Oh, praise God. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, I hope uh, I, I hope I don't make him uh, uh, turn his head, <laughs> feel bad. But then when I get to heaven, I'll be able to say good. Oh, glory to God. Thank God for that. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing. And we'll shout the victory. When I say victory in Jesus in heaven, it's going to come out beautiful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, I can't wait. When we, we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Shout about the victory. Now, while we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overcome and will overspread the sky. At times, while we're walking the uh, pilgrim pathway, we may have clouds up here, down, or something uh, so overspread the sky. But when our traveling days are over, there'll not be another shadow, not another sight. Not another one. And so we're saying, we're going to sing about that. When we all get to heaven, well, they rejoicing that will be. All, all we're to, we're going on. We're going on. I'm going, going on with Jesus all the day. I'm going on with Jesus. I'm going on today. Oh, praise God. Going on with Jesus all the way. All we're to the prize before us. Soon his beauty will be whole, and soon the pearly gates will open. Oh, they'll swing wide. Oh, they're going to swing wide. Oh, soon the pearly gates will open, and we shall tread the streets of gold, those glorious streets. Oh, it's going to be just like, like, uh, uh, like a... Transparent glass of gold made out of gold. Gold, you know, it, it, you know, it'll be probably made out of some material that's so thin that it can be just transparent, but it's made out of gold, metallic gold or something. But whatever it's like, it's going to be so beautiful. It's going to be just like a streets of gold. And it's going to be treading. The, soon we'll tread the streets of gold. Whoa, praise God. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing. That will be when we all see Jesus, then we'll sing and shout. You know, we'll not only sing, but we'll shout and we'll sing good and we'll shout good and we'll shout loud. <laughs> when we all get to heaven, we'll sing and shout the victory. We will, we'll sing then like we got victory in our soul. Oh, yes, we'll sing like we got the victory. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. Oh, he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me and I do him and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing blood. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. That was written by Eliza, or for Elizabeth, Elizabeth E. Hewitt. Uh, H-E-W-I-T-T, -T, Eliza E. Hewitt, uh, and uh, it was written in 1898 by Eliza Hewitt, and she lived from 1851 to 1920, wrote this song in 1898, and it is on page, not seven, page 701 in the, in the United Methodist Church hymnal, the UMC hymnal. 701. Yeah, praise God. And the music was by Emily D. Wilson. Based on Revelations 21 23, 1 Peter 4 13, 1 Thessalonians 4 17, for, uh, Revelations 21 21 to 23, 1 Peter 4 13, 1 Thessalonians 4 17. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, this is just, oh, this is just so, so glorious and big. 
cleansing and victorious giving and hallelujah giving. It is just so wonderful. Uh, these songs uh, are just putting such glory on my soul. Oh, praise the Lord. And it says, there's within my heart a melody. It's so cleansing, these songs. There's within my heart a melody. There's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee. Peace be still. He he's, uh, whispers, he whispers it sweet, and he whispers it right into us, into our soul, to our ear. That's what I mean by whispering low. Fear not, I am with thee. Uh, uh, Jesus whispers sweet and low. Peace be still in all of the of this life's ebb and flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. It keeps me singing. You ever imagine that? You know, you get to something that's a melody within your heart. It'll just, it just stays with you, you know, and just keeps going over in your mind. You're like, what a friend we have in Jesus or something like that. Oh, happy day or something. It just keeps going over in your mind and you just sing it all, all day long. It just keeps you feeling full of sweetness and love and peace and power. And uh, it just uh, keeps me singing all day long. We sing it all day long. And it just we're singing about Jesus and we're feeling that sweet song all day long. Whoa. Feasting on the riches of his grace. And how rich that grace is. To buy our salvation the way it did, and and to wash us in the blood, and put us in that uh, that forever state with Jesus, where He said, "Behold, uh, what uh, the manner of love the Father has shown upon us, that we should be called the sons of God, the sons and daughters of God." Oh yes, and we are predestined to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. What grace all that is! Feasting on the riches of His grace, resting neath His sheltering wing. In the shelter of his heart. Uh, okay, so then a law, uh, always looking on his, he, let, he allowed us to always be looking on his smiling face and be full of a song. Always looking on his smiling face. That is why I shout and sing. Sing and shout the victory, shout and sing the melody. Oh, praise God. We're always singing, you know, we're either singing or we're shouting or we're doing both at the same time. Oh, a lot of times I'm doing both at the same time. <laughs> shouting and singing and jumping and running. Oh, Lord Jesus, how glorious it is. Woo! <laughs> Soon, he's, I still think there's a discard fill my heart with woe, but Jesus, uh, Went upon the strings and made made this the made it play a, a beautiful music again or something like that. It's, it's supposed to be in here, but this is uh, because this says stanza number five. Soon he's coming back to welcome me far beyond the starry skies. He's coming back to welcome us to wherever you know in heaven to heaven to those mansions and everything wherever wherever he decides to have them. Uh, has them uh, welcome me far beyond the starry skies. Uh, I shall wing my flight to worlds unknown. Those worlds are not yet unknown. All those worlds that are in in God's heaven and in His power and in His strength and all those worlds that He watches over, they're all yet unknown. But we will swing our we shall wing our way to those worlds, and we uh, I shall reign there with Him on high. You know. We don't know what all he's going to cause us to reign with. You know, we're going to reign with him over all. There's no telling how much. Oh, but it says the saints are going to come back and reign over the world, you know. And so, for one thing, during the millennium, and then we don't know what all, you know, after that. Praise the Lord. It's going to be glorious. My, 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 my. Oh, and then this next song was called. Praise the Lord. 
It's called It's Worth It All. <laughs> I hope I can take any more. It's already, the fire's already been burning. <laughs> the fire is already shut up in my boat. The fire, I just, I'm already feeling that. Feel a little prayer will turn and you will know a little fire is burning. You just, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. I'm already feeling it. Feeling that fire that's burning deep within. He says, I don't want, no wonder he doesn't need a mansion on the hillside. I don't want a mansion on the hillside. I don't care for wealth or worldly fame. You know, not in, you know, not in relation to this, certainly. I don't want a mansion on the hilltop. I don't care for worldly fame. Uh, I, I don't worry when those around me prosper, though. For I have Jesus. And that's worth everything. We have the thing. We have what is worth everything. The, the, the greatest thing that there could ever be. The greatest gift in the world. We have it. So it's worth. We sings and says it's worth it all to feel that fire. Oh, my, my, have you ever felt that fire burning deep within of the passion and work for Jesus to get souls saved? That fire that puts love upon your soul for everybody. That fire that just causes you to have the, the strength and the energy. And the, oh, it's worth it all to feel the fire that's burning deep within. It's worth it all to know that I am safe. I'm safe. Oh, I'm safe from sin. I'm safe and free from sin. I'm safe from all the, all the corruption and the, all of the uh, dishonesty. Now, I'm safe from it. It's worth it all to know that I am safe and free from sin. Just to feel his touch and know that he is coming back again. It's worth it all. You know, we can feel that. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. Oh, my, 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 my. It's but once, 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 one time, once upon a time, one time my life was dark and it was oh so empty. So empty. Didn't have anything, any peace within anything. Every day I lived, it just seemed like it was in vain. You know, whatever I was doing was just in vain. Wasn't accomplishing anything. I, every day I lived, it just seemed like it was in vain. But those nail scarred hands reached down and gently touched me now i have jesus and that's worth everything ooh, 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 ooh. it's just to feel oh his touch and know that he's coming back it's worth it all to feel the fire that's burning deep down within Oh, it's worth it all to know that I am safe and free from sin. It's just to feel his touch and know he is coming back again. Oh, it's worth it all. It's worth it all. Oh, praise God. It's worth it all to feel that fire burning deep within. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so glorious. That's a glorious song. Oh, when I prayed through and I felt that power deep within, oh, it was worth it all. Oh, it's worth the time it takes to pray it in, too. Oh, dear God. People just really need to understand that it's worth it all. Oh, to pray that all in. And this last song is called There's Within My Heart a Melody. Uh, or, uh, I think that's right. No, the last song is called Saved. Saved, saved by his power divine. I have found a friend who is all to me. His love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me. Woo, praise God. <laughs> oh, I may not be able to stop today. I may have to do six, seven, eight hours and Without stopping them feeling so good. I, he, I love to tell how he lifted me. And what his grace can do for you. <laughs> Praise God. Some, sometime I'm going to just come over here. I'm just going to sing about a hundred songs. <laughs> All it was. Can do for you. What his grace can do for you. Saved by his power divine. 
Save to new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete. <laughs> oh, I can't believe these songs. Oh, it's so marvelous. You know, we, are, we feel all this, but we just don't stop and think about it. In fact, there's songs that says it, you know, and the, and the words that they say it in and everything, you know. But we, we already, we're feeling it. And so when we see it, we say, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I have found a friend, uh, a friend who is all to me, his love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me, what his grace can do for you. Saved by his, by his power divine, saved to new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete. <laughs> for I'm saved, saved, saved. Joy is complete. When poor and needy and all alone, in love, he said to me, Come unto me. You know, <laughs> come unto me and I will give you rest. Come unto me and I'll lead you home to live with me eternally. He's going to lead us to heaven. Uh, saved by his power divine. Saved to new life. Sublime to a sublime. He's going to save us to a sublime life. So where we have all that sublime joy. All that ecstatic euphoria and sublime joy that is just beyond all the imagination. Oh, life now is sweet and my joy is complete. For I'm saved, 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 saved. Oh, he say, he says, he saves me from every sin and harm, secures my soul each day. I'm, le I'm leaning strong on his mighty arm, leaning on the everlasting arms, you know. I know he'll guide me all the way. He'll guide me all the way. Saved by his power divine. Saved to new life sublime. Life now is sweet for my joy. My joy is complete. For I'm saved, saved, saved. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, so stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face should surely show it. And your life, life should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hallelujah. If you're happy and you know it, say hallelujah. If you're happy and you know it, then your life should surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, I'm happy. That was, This song was written by, uh, this Save, Save, Save was written by Jack P. Schofield. Uh, Jack P. Schofield. You know, just like uh, the name of the guy that had the Schofield Bible. Jack P. Schofield, it, it was written by Jack P. Schofield in 1911. Oh, praise God. Oh, and what is that song that goes way beyond the blue? Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Way beyond the blue. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. Way beyond the blue. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, it takes you way beyond the blues. <laughs> I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior to take him to. I took Jesus as my Savior. You take him to. It's way beyond the blues. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It takes you way beyond the blues. Oh, praise God. And so now it is time for my healing program. As if you need more healing words. <laughs> if you're not already healed. My healing program. Episode number 45. 
<laughs> episode number 45. Uh, this is episode, yeah, this is episode number 45 of our Healing Love series. And boy, we are delv delving into that healing power. It is getting more and more glorious. Oh, praise God. What a wonderful healing touch God can give us. Oh, his power and his strength to heal is amazing. Oh, yes. So stretch forth your hand unto the master. Receive from him strength for your soul. Stretch forth your hand in faith believing. He'll set, cleanse your soul and set you free. God has the power to heal today and he will brighten up your way through liberty through Calvary stretch forth your hand believe in him reach out and touch his garments him have faith in God you shall be healed stretch forth your hand Unto the master, receive from him strength for your soul. Stretch forth your hand in faith, believing he'll cleanse your soul and set you free. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. Arise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He'll cleanse you and make you whole. Oh, praise God. And so, uh, number 45, our healing lesson number 45. Uh, oh, I'm going to teach that. Uh, this is going to be called the, uh, the, uh, the springs of healing power. Oh, dear God. Uh, the, the springs of living water that produces healing. And how those springs of living water produce healing. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, oh, he died and he bought for us springs of living water. And there's so many of those springs and there's so much living water in those springs. And that water is so living, it's far beyond what we could ever hope to imagine. But we can, we can get in it. You know, we can, don't just stick your toe in, but jump in the springs of living water and begin to enjoy those springs of living water. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And then the, within those springs of living water that are always flowing, there is all kinds of healing power. Oh, there, all there are, uh, as I say in principle number one, uh, that uh, there are a thousand springs of healing. There are a thousand springs of healing available to us at any time and that's only the ones that I know about <laughs> and no doubt there's a, a many 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 more praise the Lord and so we can be healed we can stretch forth our hand and we can be healed oh and so there's no reason for us to wait on our healing we can because those springs of living water are constantly flowing and then Principle uh, number two is that each spring is more powerful than we could ever imagine. So there's a thousand springs, like that saying, uh, you know, that advertising, a land of a thousand springs. <laughs> you know, uh, that, uh, within Jesus is a land of a thousand springs. And all of them have that living water. And all of them have that healing power. Oh, dear God. And that power can flow in us. Uh, uh, we can come unto him, as he said. He that cometh unto me out of his innermost being would flow rivers of living water. You know, there's a spring at the head of each one of those rivers. And he was talking about thousands and thousands of rivers. He was talking about a lot of rivers. He said plural. Rivers of living water with a spring at the head of every, each river. And that spring is producing a river. 
and we can get those rivers flowing out of us because Jesus will come in and Jesus will abide with us and he will blow those rivers of living water. Oh, who would doubt that out of Jesus flows rivers of living water? All that he did in his grace, like the song says, uh, his grace, uh, we will be praising him for the amazing, for, the, for his grace. You know, when we all get to heaven and so on, we're praising Jesus for his grace. And, uh, and uh, the other, the, a lot of, several of the songs talk about how we'll be praising God for his marvelous grace. But when that, in that grace of Jesus, out of his grace flowed many, many springs of living water. And who can doubt it when we see all the things that, uh, that he was able to do and, and all the people that he healed and, and uh, what the cross accomplished and become the Lamb of God that taken away the sin of the world, gone on to heaven, was risen from the dead and went to heaven to be our, uh, to be our uh, mediator and to be our intercessor, to intercede for us with the Father. Who could doubt that he, did, that he brought in a, Thousands of springs of living water. And he said that he would abide with us. And he will be there. And he will give us those. He will give us those springs of living water. So, so uh, in, in the springs of dancing, uh, what does it say? In the springs of living water. Thirst of uh, drinking at the springs of living water. A vast supply. A vast and endless supply. What a bountiful, you know, bountiful, many splendored, many spectrum, bountiful, bountiful and wonderful, wonderful and bountiful supply. A supply that never runs out. That healing power never runs out. It never runs out. The healing power is always flowing. You know, well, I got a little healing, you know. And so that's all, you know. No, you just kind of just got it started, you know, just barely started. You know, chipped your toe in, got a little healing, and then you uh, you go away rejoicing about that. But you have just barely started with it. You got to go all in. You got to jump in and, and drink and keep drinking of those springs of living water and keep uh, keep swimming in, the, in those rivers of living water and get that healing power flowing. Become a healer. We need to be healer. We need to be divine healers. We need to be able to, to flow that living water to other people and raise them up out of all their sicknesses and diseases. We need to see that there is a healing spring to meet every disease. Oh, yeah, I don't care how many thousands of you may be able to list. There's a spring of living water that will meet every disease head on and wash it out. It'll, it'll wash it out. It'll shout it out. <laughs> Better than Benoxidol, Tide, or Cheer, and all those combined. It will shout out. Uh, whichever one that was, it talked about how it would shout out the, the dirt and, the, and everything. And, <laughs> and it will shout it out. It will shout out the disease and the illness. It'll shout out all the fear and doubt. It'll shout out everything we can do without. And it'll leave us with just that joy unspeakable and full of glory. And we'll be flowing those rivers. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And so we said that there, there is a solid, uh, that, that that heating power is not something we're guessing at. It's not something that just uh, ebbs and flows. You know, it doesn't just it doesn't just come in and ebb a while. You know, blow a while. You know, like a, a water flowing, washing across a beach, and then it ebbs and goes back and then comes again and everything. And, you know, it's just not just like you know the rain that sometimes comes and sometimes there's a cloud. There's uh, there's a waterless clouds and sometimes the clouds come but no rain and all them kinds of things. When Jesus touches us, there's always healing power there within Jesus when he touches us and it never it doesn't ebb and flow it's always a constant supply the rivers of living water are a constant supply they're a constant supply uh, Jesus uh, uh, God uh, sends his gifts without variableness or shadow of turning all good and perfect gifts including the gift of healing Come down from the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. 
If there's a cloud between us and it, it's us putting it there. It's not God putting it there. He flows the rivers of living water without a variable. This our shadow of turning. Oh, praise God. So we got to get the idea out of our mind. Totally out of our mind. That uh, that it is an on and off situation or that sometimes God heals and sometimes he don't. And start working on receiving the healing power that is always flowing. And knowing it is always flowing. We got to know that it is always flowing. That's the first step. Know that it is always there. Those springs of living water are always flowing. And as I said, there's a there's a thousand springs of healing uh, of just the ones that I know about. You know, it's a many healing is a many splendored flow from God. And there's a there's a there's another spring for it to, to meet every disease. Oh, praise God! And we said that <laughs> we said there. Last time we said that uh, first you dance and then you shout, then you wash the sin, sickness, and disease out. You know, you may have to start out dancing and singing and uh, and shouting and praising God and all of that to clear, you know, to clear your mind, to clear your heart, to clear out all those things that are getting in the way, to clear out all those things that are clouding your mind, mind to purify your heart and everything. You may have to, you may you may have to. Seek sanctification. It's being set apart unto God. Seeking uh, to be full of the Holy Spirit. To be, to be baptized fully and immersed in the Holy Spirit. Seeking that a while and, and uh, shouting the songs of glory and praising God a while, you know, to, in order to get all of that flowing and, in order, in, a, in, that, in that way, we, we sanctify ourselves from the world because we start singing those glorious gospel songs about Jesus and setting our mind on those, and you know, like the song said, I've got, there's within my heart a melody, Jesus went, uh, spirit, and it says, he keeps me singing all day long, and get ourselves singing all day long, and, and helping to set ourselves apart from those, of um, that mass, mass consciousness, we got our mind on Jesus, and that sanctifies us. And if we do that long enough, we're going to be sanctified from the world. We're going to be set apart into the flow of the healing power. And we're going to be be, be baptized in this, and immersed in that spirit of Jesus. And we're going to have that spirit. We're going to have that fire burning deep within. And we're going to be saying, oh, that's, that's worth more than anything else I could ever have. And so we're going to sanctify it further. And we're going to be baptized more in it. And then we're going to be in the in the get our, we're going to be getting ourselves into the way of of receiving those spring all those springs of healing that will flow in us and wash out the sickness and disease. Oh, praise God! It's just such a marvelous thing. Glory to God! Hallelujah! How that we can get that? Oh, dear God! And so, uh, let's see. What did we say on this? Um, we said uh, that. We said this, that that joy was a free gift of God and that we could receive all the joy we could hold because joy, that joy unspeakable and full of glory is a free gift. You know, say, well, why don't I have that joy unspeakable and full of glory? You know, if it's a free gift of God and he's offering it and he gives it, why don't I have it? Why do I just have a little joy? Uh, why do I just have joy that's a bit unspeakable but, I didn't, but not full of glory? Why, do, why am I not full of glory? Why don't I have that that? That joy that is full of glory. Well, you know, it's, it's there to be received. And and uh, this Isaiah, of course, you know, says that I, Isaiah 53 there says. Let's see. No, Isaiah 40. Uh, Isaiah 53 is, and 6 is the one that says, All we like sheep have gone straight, and we have uh, turned everyone to our own way, but and God has laid, laid on him the iniquity of us all. But John 40, and I think it's 38, says uh, that uh, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall run and not be weary, and walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, to wait, as the song says. Uh, teach us, we, we wait on the Lord. If we wait on the Lord, Asking for that joy and speak will pull of glory. And we wait there patiently, have patience uh, to listen to God as he begins to talk to us. He will begin to send that joy and speak will pull of glory. 
He'll begin to tell us how to get it. How He'll tell us how to sanctify our life. He'll tell us how to start receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost and the immersion in the Holy Spirit. He'll tell us all those things we need to know. Uh, and he will begin to uh, to send that joy of his people and full of glory. So we said that was a free gift. And uh, so, you know, the, and uh, we said that... Um, uh, there is uh, was is a and we talked about the we talked about all of that uh, that pipeline that we have between us and God you know that we can if we clear out the pipeline you know that we clear out that flow and and clear out those uh, get everything out out of the way that's damming up those rivers of living water get everything out of the way that's damming up the springs and everything that they will begin to flow that God is always flowing them and the problem is always are we damaging them up in some way? Uh, are we doing what Matthew 5 8 says, the pure in the hearts of see God? Are we allowing things to come in and, and uh, alloy, uh, be, uh, and uh, serve as an alloy to uh, keep us from being a pure in heart? Uh, something to, to serve to di dilute down uh, that uh, actual time of waiting upon the Lord and uh, diluting down that melody that can be in our heart diluting down that joy are we allowing things to come in and dilute down our concentration upon jesus and upon our prayer life you know things that can uh, uh, things in mass consciousness and the things that are put out by this world will dilute down and take up space uh, in us that will dilute down that time that we need to be spending in prayer and seeking god and so we have to get those things out of the way Oh, praise the Lord. And uh, we said be, uh, we need to be translated. We need to be transformed and translated into that receptive attitude of healing, of where we can receive healing. And we need to be, uh, need, to move, need to move our, uh, our, the mode of our soul and our mind out of, what we just had when we were born with, we were born with that default mode of just receiving, you know, that just says, I'm going to receive everything that's all coming at me, you know, receive everything on the TV and everything everybody says, and all mass conscious and everything else. We got to reach up and remove uh, our uh, soul and our mind, uh, uh, remove that, that slide that thing out of that delete, uh, out of that, um, slide that out of uh, that uh, default mode over into that transformed, translated mode where we can receive the the flow of God's healing thoughts. We be, we transform, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We come to those springs of living water, start drinking them. We come to that prayer room and start getting on our knees and praying through and. We begin then to transform our, and renew our mind until we become translated into that glorious place where we can easily see the healing power flowing and can easily receive it. We get into that receptive mode. We move it from the default mode into the receptive mode. And we have to continue to work on that. You know, that's what it means by being trans, uh, transformed. By the renewing of your mind, as you're continually working on uh, uh, getting yourselves uh, uh, into that receptive mode more and more, where you can receive the thoughts of God, and you can understand the joy of the Lord more, and you can understand what God, uh, what what God is really telling you, and what God's really flowing, and we can understand, and we can clear the pipeline and so forth. And so uh, we said uh, that. Be, be translated in, uh, into uh, healing reception. Uh, by, let's see, yeah, so we said that. All right, and so then uh, we need to realize that understanding, understanding the principle that God is love will bring us joy. We need to be we need to transform, be transformed by the renewing of our mind into uh, a flow and an understanding of the principle that says God is love, and the principle that says perfect love casts out fear. And what that means, you need to analyze that and say, well, 
what is perfect, what is the love it's talking about, and what it what is that perfect love? Where does that perfect love come from? Comes from God. And and then what is fear and what what does it mean to cast it out? And how do we cast it out? And what the spirit consists of, fear is lack of faith. And so it's doubt. And so it's fear and doubt. But perfect love, once we understand and transform, uh, transform our mind, ourselves by the renewing of our mind, we start understanding what how perfect the love of God is. And we start allowing that perfect love to flow and replace all of that fear and doubt. And so then, in that way, we cast it out. We wash it out. And we can do that by rejoicing about the promises of God. We can do that by singing songs of rejoicing. And all those ways, we begin to transform our mind and we begin to wash out that fear and doubt. Uh, and we begin to transform ourselves to where we can see how perfect the love of God is. And we take that as a principle. And we build our foundation upon the fact that God is love. And we build it upon that, and that the grace of love, and that it was His grace that saved us, and only His grace that saved us. We build that, we build a, our foundation upon the love and the grace, the perfect love and the perfect, amazing grace of God, and build our life upon that, and see that only by grace are you saved through faith, and that is not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, and it comes, His perfect love comes by a gift, and His amazing grace comes by, by a gift, and it's not of ourselves, uh, but by Jesus, and understand that all have sinned, uh, every human being has sinned, and comes short of the glory of God, and the wages of those sins, if you continue in them, it is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, and so we come and we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, knowing that it is in His perfect love and in His uh, in His perfect love and His perfect grace is all the truth and all the power to cast out fears and doubts and to take us out of the blues and the restlessness and the depression and everything else. And so we say, Jesus, you are Lord. I accept you as Lord. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus, Jesus, and I believe in my heart that you, that God, I believe you, God, that you raised him from the dead. I believe that God raised him from the dead, and then you will be saved. And as you get into that uh, that area of salvation there by grace and understand that you have that blessed assurance that your soul is anchored in heaven, it's anchored beyond the veil, anchored in Jesus then that starts bringing the joy to your soul that you can dance and shout and praise God about. You can dance about that, praise God about it, and shout about that, shout hallelujah about it, and do that more and more as you realize more and more what all that means until you make way for all, all, not just a few, but all of those springs of living water to flow. And as those springs of living water begin to flow, you know, that's what we seek. We don't seek the healing. We seek to have more of those springs of living water flowing. More of what Jesus meant when he said, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water. You go and you get on your knees and you pray or however you, you know, however you become submissive before God and however you become attentive and however you wait upon the Lord. You do that waiting upon the rivers of living water and the springs of living water, as the song said, and you wait upon that and you patiently pray for that and seek that. You seek that and you seek to be sanctified apart from the things that are keeping you from seeing that and keeping you from receiving that until you get all of that flowing. And then with that comes the healing power. With that becomes a healing awareness, becomes, and, and all with that awareness and that healing and everything that comes and flows in those springs of living water begins to wash out those things that are creating fear and doubt. It begins to wash out those things that are that are exacerbating the illness, that, that are making you uh, wash out those things that are making you susceptible to illness, and it washes out those actual diseases, uh, those actual formations, uh, and gets rid of them, and it washes all that out. Because they cannot stand. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. These other things cannot stand in the presence of the Lord. They, they cannot stand when God is washing over you with all of his power. The, the disease, sin, sickness, disease cannot stand in the presence of that full power of God. The power of God will flow over us. 
Oh, glory to God. It'll blow over us like springs that never give out. It'll blow over us like rivers that just get more powerful all the time. You know, it's just like as if the spring is put more and more and more and more and more water into those rivers and they're getting stronger and stronger and stronger and they're flowing. There's a river flowing into every cell of your body of that power of that healing. It's flowing into every part of you and healing everything. It's the springs, of, it's the rivers of living water. And as I say, there's a thousand, there's at least, there's a thousand of them that, that I know of and a lot of them I don't even know about. Oh, praise God. But when I know one thing, I know that they have the power in them. Oh, praise God. And so let's start getting into those. Uh, let's start getting the, getting those rivers. And don't just say river, but say rivers. Don't just get to say you're going to a spring, but go to those springs. And know that there's thousands of them. Oh, you got to get all of them flowing. Get all the promises of the Bible flowing in you. Standing upon all the promises, standing on the promises of Christ my King, through the eternal ages, let his praises ring. And we got to determine that. I'm going to stand on the promise. And that promise that the Lord will be with you always, and that promise that God is love, and that perfect love cast out. Here we stand on that. And so now we're going to stop and go to prayer. This has been a glorious lesson. And it was a those glorious songs that we sang too. But we're going to stop now and go to prayer. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, dear God, we thank you. I thank you for that sunlight this morning. I thank you, dear God, for all the sunlight in our soul and all those springs of living water that have been flowing. And I thank you, dear God, Lord, that you are letting us uh, uh, know something about the rivers of living water that we can have. Oh, dear God, and, and you're letting them flow in us now, and you're and you're you're giving us, uh, you're healing our body, and you're healing our soul and our mind. Oh, I just thank you, Lord, that you're raising us out of any thought of depression. Oh, dear God, we all have every once in a while, you know. Uh, we t tend to uh, let a little bit of thought of depression or blues or, or restlessness or something in or even, even if for a few seconds. But, Lord, you will wash all that out. And I just pray you would wash all of that out. Wash out all the depression this morning anybody might be feeling. Well, uh, wash out all the low feeling, that any kind of low feeling they might be feeling. Wash out, dear God, uh, any kind of a feeling of oppression, of being beat down or in any way, of uh, any kind of feeling of being obsessed by anything other than Jesus, be about a feeling of being obsessed by the by the cares of this life or being obsessed by, uh, by bad habits that they can't seem to get rid of, that you would deliver them now. Send the springs of living water and the rivers of water, uh, rivers of life, uh, uh, living water flowing in them now to wash out all the craving for any kind of bad habit and lift them above it. And we pray, God, you would heal people of all their diseases, Lord. Father, dear God, and oh, dear God, give them that strength of understanding and wisdom and knowledge, dear God, of all the healing power you're flowing their direction. And Lord, dear God, let them be receptive. Oh, dear God, maybe may we all be receptive more to your love and your joy and your peace today. Oh, Father, anyone has any kind of a cancerous growth that you would wash that out now, get rid of it. Any kind of metastatic formations anywhere in the body, any kind of lymphoma, any kind of tumor. Oh, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, dear God, that you would deal with cancers and tumors. Oh, dear God, and now I pray, dear God, and you know, any tumor that might be forming upon uh, uh, the uh, 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 the uh, upon the cerebral tissue or the t cerebral mass, dear God, that you would go in and you would stop it in its tracks and, and get rid of it. Now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, and uh, send away any tumor that is there and make it, uh, uh, put it in that tumorless state. That's tumorless state by thy grace and thy love that cannot form a tumor. Uh, that perfect state, oh dear God, that let that perfect lo love flow and just seal off that cere cerebral uh, tissue uh, in a, your perfection and, and, and uh, seal it off from any tumorous growth. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, and now I pray that you'd lift the COVID-19 off of our country and our world and all of the all of those uh, Productions and everything of it, and, and every anyone that would seek to 
do anything like that, Lord. Uh, and uh, Father, that you would uh, uh, just seal us off from our susceptibility to any kind of COVID-19 or flu bug or anything. And Lord, just lift it off of our world. Lift that COVID-19 out and lift us into thy power and thy love. Let thy love and thy joy flow over us and, and, and prevent the susceptibility to any kind of flu bug or viral infection or any kind of COVID-19 or other cold or flu. And Lord, Father, I pray, dear God, you you send thy power, Lord, and take away the susceptibility, dear God, to any kind of blood problem or any kind of flow problem and, and prevent the hardening of the arteries and prevent plaque and prevent clots and everything from being in the blood or on the blood vessels, dear God, Lord, Father, dear God, that you would just cause them to be free of any kind of a high blood pressure, low blood pressure, Lord, that you that there may be a free flow in the carotid arteries and everything, Lord, uh, that they may be uh, uh, never be susceptible to any kind of strokes or TIAs or blank spots, never be uh, susceptible to fainting or any other kinds of thing like that, or uh, Father, dear God, that you just heal strokes of, uh, or heal the susceptibility to strokes, uh, Father, now in the name of Jesus. Oh, dear God, and heal them of all forms of pain in, in their cranial area. Any kind of any kind of uh, any kind of migraine headache, dear Father. Oh, dear God, or any kind of uh, any kind of headache whatsoever, dear God, the Lord, dear God, and heal them of, of all the susceptibility, dear God, to any kind of uh, malfunctioning of any kind of the synapses or the nervous system in any way that would create a convulsion or a seizure in any way, Lord, and just heal of, of epilepsy of every form and every nature. Dear God, oh, just uh, uh, heal them totally and completely, Lord, and restore anything lost. And Lord, Father, I pray, dear God, Lord, you restore people from Alzheimer's and restore any kind of tissue lost, dear God, or any kind of function or, or facility lost. Lost, dear God, or efficiency law, and, rest and restore their memory a hundredfold, I pray in the name of thy holy son, Jesus. Restore their memory a hundredfold. Oh, dear God. And now we pray, dear God, Lord, that you'd heal people's heart. Give them strong heart, dear God, Lord. And, and Lord, I pray you'd heal of any kind of a, a congenital malformation, any kind of bowel malformation or anything, Lord, that interfere. Lord, dear God, I just pray, dear God, Lord, now you would heal people, dear God, of any pacing problem or rhythm problem, that they would have a perfect rhythm and perfect pacing and not, without any need for any external pacemakers or anything like that. Lord, that, that they would have a perfect electrocardiogram, dear God, right on time, and they would last in there, and that rhythm would last in, in them in their heart, or that their heart would tick on for many years without any problem and lord that you just perfuse those, those uh, that heart muscle perfectly with a free flow of the blood that a blood that is free of any kind of plaque or any kind of damning or any kind of clots or anything father that you'd be free and it would cause the muscles to beat right on for many many years oh dear god just cause them to them their heart and just heal of any kind of heart a heart problem whatsoever dear god oh dear god any kind of heart disease, dear God, just heal it now in the name of Jesus. And now I pray, dear God, you'd heal people, dear God, of susceptibility to multiple sclerosis and uh, any kind of symptoms of limp, of uh, uh, any, any kind of lupus problems or symptoms of lupus diseases. Oh, dear God, that you'd heal them of that now. Oh, dear God, Lord, and heal people, dear God, of any kind of a uh, uh, any kind of a tissue problem if I heal him dear God father of any kind of fibrosis or fibrotic tissue heal him dear God of cystic fibrosis of every kind and all the symptoms of that and father I pray dear God Lord now that you would heal people of any kind of any, any kind of sickle cell anemia and cause a perfect formation of all of the blood corpuscles the way they should be and Lord dear God that you just heal people dear God uh, Oh, of any kind of anemia or iron poor blood or low low blood uh, constituents, Lord, that they have the perfect medical in their blood, the perfect power in their blood, the perfect iron in their blood. Oh, Father, that's it. That they, they, they would heal them of all susceptibility of anemia, anemia of every form. And Father, dear God, Lord, now, dear God, that you'd heal people, dear God, of, uh, of skin disorders and dermatitis and uh, things like scabies and other rashes and other things like that, Lord, that, that you'd heal them perfectly of that. Father, and any kind of aller, aller, allergic reaction on the skin, and just heal them, dear God, perfect of and kill them of all form of dermatitis. And now we pray, dear God, you'd heal people of all shingles and all susceptibility to shingles and all the symptoms of shingles, dear God, in the name of the Holy Son Jesus. And now, now we pray, you, oh Father, that you would heal people of any kind of lower back pain 
or any kind of upper back pain or any kind of pain in the back whatsoever, dear God, and heal it. Uh, oh, Father, I pray that you would heal any kind of fissures or fractures in the vertebrae or any kind of uh, disjointedness or, or any kind of problem with the cartilage or the disc or anything in Lord, or oh, Father, any kind of uh, infections or anything else. That, Lord, dear God, you should heal them of all spinal meningitis. And other diseases, dear God, Lord, and just align that spine, make it fine, make it fine, make it feel divine, just align it perfectly and cause a perfect, al perfect alignment, a perfect stature, and a perfect strength. Oh, dear God, in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, now I pray that you heal people of all, uh, all the, uh, uh, all, all kinds of uh, arthritis and rheumatism, inflammation of the joints whatsoever, and Lord, all kinds of swelling and all kinds of gout. Dear God, and you'd straighten any kind of uh, bones in the joints that need to be straightened and, uh, and replace any kind of cartilage, dear God, and cause it to have the right hinging action and right shock absorbing action in every way, free of all inflammation. And pray, dear God, that they'd have the perfect hinging of their knees. Oh, dear God, that they might have now, I just pray that they'd have, oh, dear God, the right hinging action, dear God, and the right uh, cartilage and the right synovial fluid. And the right to ability to jump high in the air and land down upon their feet with perfect hinging action. Oh, dear God, lift himself perfectly. Oh, dear God, now they pray, dear God, Father, dear God, now dear Jesus, that you'd heal people of any kind of lack of integrity, a lack of structure, like a lack of solidness, or any kind of brittleness in the bones, dear God. Oh, any kind of porousness in the bone, any kind of osteoporosis, any kind of fissure or fracture in the upper leg bone or the hip bones. Oh, dear God, just heal them and give them a perfect, uh, perfect structure, dear God, and a perfect joints that they might be able to jump and, and land on their feet and they may be able to jump and shout and shout, shout everything they can do without, shout out all those diseases that they can certainly do without. And that they would be able to shout, 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 shout out all fear and doubt. No, oh, these are the things that we can do without. So we're going to shout them out. Oh, dear God, that people, that you'd get people out of wheelchairs and off of crutches, that they may be able to throw those crutches at the devil, chase them out of the room, chase them out of the building, chase them out of the church. Oh, they chase them out of their home. Oh, dear God, that they, they would never be able to bring back any kind of a crippling disease. That you'd heal people of all crippling diseases and get them up and dancing in the spirit with perfect joints and perfect bones and everything. Heal people of any kind of fissure or fracture of the upper leg bone, the hip bone, or any other bones. And now we pray to your God, Father, Lord, that you heal people of all kind of lung congestion, any kind of COPD, any kind of emphysema, dear God. Mm -mm. Oh, dear God, or anything that we congest, any kind of viral infection or bacterial infection or allergy problem, dear God, or any kind of asthma or bronchitis or anything that would stop the uh, uh, the tubules up, dear God. And Lord, dear God, that you heal them of any kind of susceptibility to COVID-19 or, or any kind of virus or flu bug. Oh, there in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, lay to help, help people to be able to be healed of the addiction to nicotine, that they can lay down their cigarettes, Lord, that you might be able to restore those years that have been yeah, burned up dear god those are uh, where the the lung tissue has been burned up by that, all that smoking lord and all of the damage that's done that, that it does to all the organs of the body lord that you'd be able to partially restore some of that dear god in the name of the holy son jesus and now father dear god that and they just lay those cigarettes down walk off from them dear god you'd heal them of the of any uh, uh, of any of the attraction to it and heal them of any uh, craving that they might have for tobacco or nicotine or any of that kind of thing. And Lord, dear God, Father, I pray that you to heal people of any kind of a, uh, any other kind of craving for any kind of crack cocaine, any kind of heroin or cocaine of any kind, dear God, any kind of methamphetamine, any kind of fentanyl, dear God, or any kind of, uh, any of the, uh, of the pain relieving drugs or the opiates, dear God, or opiates, oxycontins, dear God, or barbiturates or phenobarbital or any of those kinds of things, dear God, that you would heal them, dear God, now of that craving for that. Oh, that they may be able to lay that down, look up into the high mountain of joy that you have with, with all that euphoria and ecstasy and strength and power and being bigger and all, dear God, all of that great, uh, the great high that is a thousand times higher than any kind of buzz or any kind of rush, any kind of speedy feeling, any kind of joyful feeling, any kind, any kind of a good feeling, you know, any kind of a uh, of a ecstasy or euphoria that they could ever hope to ever get or ever will get from any drugs. That they would be able to come up out of that pit with a counterfeit and all the other stuff that's there in that pit with that counterfeit. 
Oh, dear God, and reach up into the high mountain that is a thousand times greater than anything they could get from that pit. Oh, dear God, Lord, now that you just uh, just break the addictions to alcohol, Lord, that people be able to lay down that bottle and never come back to it, Lord, that you might be able to restore, the, uh, restore all of the deterioration over the years, dear God, that has come from that alcohol, all the cirrhosis of the liver, the cancer of the liver, hepatitis and everything, restore, Joel 225, the years that uh, that had been eaten up, dear God, all the hash out of me, that you will do that, Lord, and we know you'll do that. And you promised me. You go, oh, Father, good God, in the name of the Holy Saint Jesus, now we pray. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear God, heal people of diabetes. Oh, God, heal people that are going to be healed of diabetes oh, all the time. That more and more, more and more, they're going to be healed of diabetes. Oh, Lord, dear God, should heal them, dear God, of every form, every lower, uh, whether it be a uh, uh, early onset, late onset, diabetes, mellitus, dear God, or sugar diabetes of any form, any form, dear God, that should balance that uh, their hormone, balance their blood sugar in every way. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally perfect, Lord. Give them a harmonious book, uh, hematocrit of every kind, dear God. And, and Lord, dear God, that you this, it did heal their pancreas, dear God, and give them a perfect pancreal uh, production and a perfect insulin production, a perfect balance of insulin. And Lord, dear God, you heal them, dear God, of any kind of kidney uh, inaction or lack of filtering or any kind of uh, productivity. You'd let the kidney be efficient and function perfectly in every way and heal them of any kind of adverse effect upon, uh, upon, upon uh, their heart, uh, or muscle, or their heart or their eyes or their extremities or, or anything that any kind of adverse effect dear god it would, uh, would occur from any form of diabetes dear god lord that you would heal that now dear god and heal that and cause a perfect blood flow and a perfect circulation in every way and lord now we pray you to heal the pancreatitis and every kind of pancreatic cancer in every way lord dear god and heal all pancreatic cancer heal all prostate cancer and all prostatitis, dear God, all cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, and all the other type of uh, uh, genital cancer or anything of any kind, Lord, or any genital disease of any kind. And Father, dear God, I pray, dear God, should heal people, dear God, Father, dear God, of, uh, of any kind of colon cancer. Oh, dear God, just lift all that colon cancer and, and, and lift off the susceptibility to it. Lord, that the digestion would be perfect, the elimination would be perfect, the efficiency of the digestive tract would be perfect. Oh, dear God, uh, the regularity would be perfect. Everything would be perfect in the action of the digestion and of the elimination, dear God, right on time in every way. And Lord, you take away can- uh, take away all the ulcers, dear God, out of there. Uh, any kind of ulcers might be forming in the GI tract, Lord, that you just, uh, heal them of susceptibility of that. Oh, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, heal people of all breast cancer, remove any kind of thing that might be forming there, any kind of metastatic formation, dear God, or any, any kind of metastasis, dear God, or any kind of a uh, lump or anything else, Lord, that might, might uh, decide that uh, it wants to be formed, that you'd prevent it, Lord, and prevent all susceptibility susceptibility to breast cancer of whatever kind. Lord, dear God, just prevent breast cancer and heal breast cancer of all kinds. Dear God, I pray, pray in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. And now, Father, I pray, dear God, Lord, in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, you'd heal people of all blindness. Uh, you'd heal the blind eyes, dear God. And heal deaf ears and, uh, and all eye, ear, nose, and throat problems, infections in every type. Lord, dear God, headaches in every way. And Lord, that you would heal People of a visual impairment or hearing impairment or any other type of impairment, dear God, that they might be experiencing, dear God. And Lord, dear God, you'll heal them of, of all forms of, uh, of uh, uh, all forms of migraine, headaches, other headaches, any kind of brain trauma, any kind of thing that resulted from adjusting of the brain or trauma to the brain or any kind of thing resulting from concussion or any other damage, dear God, or accident. Lord, you heal them of all that, heal them of all their tumors, dear God, and cast away all tumors from the cerebral mass, dear God, the cere- cerebral tissue. And and, and uh, put upon it, uh, uh, seal it off. And it will never be receptive to tumors again. To heal all of it, and heal all of it, keep up, prevent all susceptibility to tumors, dear God. And now heal all stroke uh, receptive, all of uh, all of the. Uh, 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 the susceptibility to uh, strokes and other things like that. And now, Father, I pray, dear God, Lord, you heal him of, uh, of all leukemia and all kind of cancer of the bone and every kind of uh, 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 every kind of a lack of efficiency of any kind of functioning of that uh, of the bone tissue and the bone marrow. Dear God, that you just heal, dear Father, Lord, all uh, all of the uh, uh, the bone marrow, dear God, it would produce the red blood cells correctly as it should and balance off the blood the way it should in every way, dear God, and the blood would be balanced, dear God, and Lord, Father, just heal them of any kind of bone cancer. Now I pray, dear Father, Lord, that you just give us 
you need to heal us of everything that we need and, and heal us of all lack of joy or lack of happiness and heal us of all depression and things like it. But Lord, give us a so give us a gratitude today. Now let's pray for gratitude. I pray that we'd be gratitude so grateful and count our blessings so well and be so on power for God and so grateful for our for everything that we have and all of our liberties and freedoms in our country and our, where we live and everything that would be so grateful that that would serve to strengthen our backbone, dear God, to stand against uh, corruption and dishonesty and to stand up and be counted for the truth, to, to right, lift the standard against evil. Lord, and when the evil comes in like a flood, uh, uh, oh, dear God, you will lift up a standard against it. Lord, and you would lift up a standard, dear God, and you would help us, dear God, to have that gratitude that will cause us to uh, desire to lift up that standard, and that desire, dear God, to, to raise a standard of righteousness, Not that, that, I, that to, to lift up our, our, our honesty uh, and appreciation and an honor for honesty and integrity and transparency, forthrightness, dear God, and accountability and all that we would see that as an honorable thing. And understand how how that it protects our liberties and freedom. And Lord, dear God, I just pray for everyone, dear God, working anywhere, dear kept from Capitol Hill, dear God, to the state houses, to the to the governor's mansions, dear God, or any of those city and county leaders, as they had all see that it is their duty to protect our citizenship and to protect our country and its liberties and freedom, and to be, emanate a quality of their of their life and of their character and their integrity uh, that would influence anyone that is looking to them, anyone that's uh, under their influence, uh, to be able to understand what it takes to be a good citizen, that they have, they'd be perfectly clear in their mind as to what their duties are as a citizen and the way that they have to uh, they have to be uh, uh, have to honor uh, uh, honesty and and integrity in every way. And we have to honor the heroes that have gone before. All these things will protect our liberties and freedom. We honor the heroes that have gone before. All of those that, that have shed their blood and they've died for our country, knowing that it was worth, uh, that it was uh, uh, having a country with the kind of liberties and freedoms we have. And those with it, and having a country with freedom of religion and all, dear God, that it was worth fighting for and dying for. That we would honor them for their sacrifice. Oh, dear God. And realize what it means and what the price it was paid. They would more clearly realize the price that was paid, that Jesus paid the price. And, and everything over the thousands of, over the, over the millenniums, dear God, before us, uh, dear God, that have brought in the Judeo-Christian principles, dear God, and all that, that we have our system of laws and constitution and everything, Lord, that we would appreciate all that for what it is and stand up for it, dear God. Oh, Father, in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, just give us that. That gratitude and that backbone and, uh, of integrity and honesty. And now we pray, dear God, Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, dear God, should bless all of our pastors and our leaders and all of our churches, dear God. Lord, just give them wisdom and understanding. Give them a power to preach the gospel. Give them, give them a, uh, give them a power of a power of the fire that anybody shut up in their bones. A power, uh, the power of that, uh, uh, all of that uh, fire burning deep within. That prayer wheel turning and that little fire, that fire that is burning and all within their soul, that they'd have, they'd preach with power, they'd preach the true gospel, they'd preach it with strength, they'd preach it with convicting power. Give them the wisdom, give them the wisdom they need to do that and the love that they need to do that. Uh, put love upon their heart. Give them evangelism for all of our senior pastors, assistant pastors, social pastors, all of our elders and deacons, dear God, and all of our youth pastors, youth directors, dear God, and our choir directors and music directors, and all of our Sunday school teachers and all of our all of the uh, people that work in the, all the Christian workers, dear God, and those that went soul winners in the churches and the band, those with the working with the uh, the evangelistic uh, uh, outreaches and the counselors, dear God, and all those dear, dear God in the churches that are working with the uh, uh, with the uh, all the altar workers and the prayer warriors of every kind, Lord, that they would all have that loving, and they would all have that love and that fire dwelling up. Will, Welling up within themselves to, to cause them to be a, a, a reach out to the lost and win the lost and have the wisdom to do so. Oh, Father, I pray in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, now, dear God, you protect all of our police officers. Oh, dear God, just protect them in every way, dear God, against any kind of harm, any, any kind of vindictive action, uh, any kind of a 
uh, vindictiveness or any kind of a vengeful action or any kind of anyone coming to them in, in a uh, uh, in a violent way, dear God, uh, seeking to harm them in any way, that you protect them from that, that you would give them uh, our, our all of our prayer support and all of our financial support, that they might have the salaries that they need, uh, a commensurate with the jobs that they do, and that they would have the appreciation of our hearts and the gratitude of our hearts and the strength, dear God, of our prayers. And Lord, dear God, that you'd be protected in every way from violence, dear God, or attack that they may be able to make it home uh, at the end of their shifts every day, dear God, free of any kind of harm ever come to their themselves or their families. Oh, dear God, protect them, Lord, dear God, and those that served for 20, 30 years, that they look back upon the time uh, when they could really feel uh, honored to have served and have a character, really built character and really felt, uh, how they saw how that they had upheld uh, our liberties and freedom by protecting our law and order. And understand fully and deeply, oh, dear God, when they first started police officers, understand fully and deeply uh, what the law and order, the significance of law and order and, and to our civilization and how we have to have that in order to have liberties and freedom. And Lord, just protect them in every way like that. And give them wisdom in every way to, to, to uh, withstand and to uh, understand how to deal with every situation. And now we pray, dear God, Father, dear Lord, you protect all of our teachers. In our, in our uh, great schools, or high schools, or secondary schools of every kind. Oh, dear God, dear God, that you just protect them, Lord, against any kind of problem. And, Lord, that you give them the strength, give them a great backbone, give them a gratitude for our country, give them a gratitude for our flag, and that that strengthen them, dear God, let them emanate a spirit of character, of character and honesty and respect for heroes that we had in the past. And, Lord, that they, that would cause them to emanate a character that, that uh, anybody that is influenced by them might look and say, well, this is a person of character and Lord that they would be able to know they would at least have an example of good citizenship that when they grow up uh, the pupils that grow up they would be able to uh, to know uh, what it is to be a good citizen and have an appreciation for the country and while for all of our professors in our universities there are the private public Lord, that they would have a great sense of duty, dear God, uh, Lord, dear God, uh, uh, to uh, emanate a character and strength and honesty and to uphold our flag and uphold our country, uphold our heroes of the past. Understand the significance of it. They understand what those heroes actually did and what they, uh, what the extent of the sacrifice, their blood and their dying for our country and what that all means and how that was necessary. It's not something you can just poo-poo, but it's something that is, was actually necessary in order for us to have the liberties and freedoms that we have today. And when we stop honoring that, then we will no longer have it, and then we'll lose our liberties and freedom. But Lord, dear God, if they would understand that they have to honor those that have gone before, that they have to understand the flag, because the flag stands for those that have gone before and died for our country. And Lord, that they would honor the military and all like that, Lord, but that they would emanate a quality of character. So that anyone that is under their influence could look to them and they would have they would have a role model that they could that they could emulate. Uh, and know how to be good citizens. Oh, dear God, in every way. And now, Father, I pray, dear God, Lord, now you should protect all of our farmers and all of our ranchers. Oh, dear God, around the country, dear God, protect all of our ranchers, especially down south against poaching, against squatting on their property or destroying of their fences or destruction of their property, destruction of their barns or their houses. Oh, dear God, or any kind of a vandalism against their equipment or anything. Lord, you should protect them oh, perfectly like that and cause them to be able to produce greatly. And keep doing their job and have a great reward in it. Lord, that they'd give them prosperity in every way. Uh, give them a, a, a great uh, reward in their hearts for the, what they're doing for the country and providing the food and everything, Lord. And how that is, the necessity of that, dear God. And Father, dear God, just protect them in every way. Keep them free of illness in every way. Keep them free of COVID-19. Keep them free of the susceptibility to flu bugs and viruses and COVID-19 and all sorts of things like that, Lord. And, and now, Father, I pray, dear God, Lord, you protect all of our farmers around the country. Protect all of our, uh, all of the farmers, dear God, and all the work that they do, all the production they do to give them and cause them to be, to be a, uh, oh, dear God, to be resourceful, but Lord, dear, cause them, dear God, to be prosperous in every way, dear God, and Lord, protect them against vandalism, against any of their equipment, against any harm to themselves or their family or their barns or their houses or anything, and Lord, just protect them and give them a sense of pride and a sense of reward for what they're doing to be in the breadbasket of the country, and all those that, that work with other areas, dear God, as orchards and everything, producing the fruit and everything for the country, that they would be rewarded for that, and protect them in every way, protect, protect all of our, uh, all of our Areas of growing vegetation, all of our areas, dear God, of growing um, uh, fruit and everything else, dear God, Father, you protect them and keep them free of uh, flu bugs and keep them free of viruses and and uh, 
and uh, keep them pre uh, of susceptibility to COVID-19 and everything so that the supply line would just blow. Oh, Father, in the name of thy Holy Son, Jesus. And dear God, we pray, dear God, now that you would um, uh, oh, protect all of our military men and women in the military, all the men and women in the Army, Navy, Air Force, the Marine Corps, Coast Guard, the Space Force, and all of our National Guard and all of our reservists, dear God, all of our border agents and those National Guard people that are serving on the border, and all of our military men and women that are serving in all the countries of the world that are serving around the world. That they would be, well, you would keep them free of harm in every way. Oh, dear God, and that they may be able to return after their tour of duty free of any kind of harm to themselves, their family, any kind of lost limb, protect them against any kind of permanent wounding or loss of limb. And those that served 20 or 30 years in the military, Lord, that you just give them a, a great time of service, great enjoyable experience, great character building, free from any kind of permanent wounds or loss of limbs or anything, but they would look back upon their time and service as a time of upholding liberties and freedom, and they would serve as a great reward to them. And help us to be, have grateful hearts for them. And be appreciative of all our military. And provide them with the salaries they need, commensurate what they do. And Lord, that we provide for them, Lord, uh, uh, increase any hazard pay or whatever they might need. And Lord, their God, Lord, that you would, we would uh, give them prayer support and financial support. And we pray for all of our missionaries around the world, dear God. We give them the prayer support they need and the, and the financial support they need in every way, Lord. And we would provide for them. And, Lord, that they would be able to have the uh, energy and the vitality and everything. That they would be able to have the love for the lost and evangelistic spirit. That they would be able to plant many churches with many lost souls. Oh, dear God, they'd be able to return after the tour of duty as a missionary, dear God, free of any kind of harm themselves and their family, Lord, and they'd be able to come back home with a, with, with a great sense of reward for what they did, and all those that served 20 or 30 years as missionaries, Lord, and they look back upon the time of great a uh, great uh, joy, uh, great joy and blessing of the Lord when many churches be planted, many souls be saved, that have served for them as a great reward for the rest of their life and in heaven. Lord, that they would have a great reward uh, for all those things that they've done like that. We'd stay grateful and keep praying for them and financially supporting. And Lord, Father, I pray to your God in the name of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, you protect all of our supply lines in every way. Lord, dear God, that they be free of bottlenecks and free of any kind of inefficiency. And Lord, any kind of lack of workers, dear God, that you'd send workers into all the areas, send truckers to drive the truck, send people to work in the, in the uh, postal services, FedEx and UPS and all those. And we pray for all those uh, carriers that bring the uh, bring the packages to the house and all those that carriers that bring them to the uh, things, to the, to the stores and to the feed stores and all the food stores that feed stores are staple of all the needs of the livestock and all the pet foods and everything and all the stores that have the have the groceries and the and the, and the uh, pet foods and everything like that lord and, and all everything would be full without any kind of bottlenecks lord but you just pray to your god protect all of our dock workers and all of our warehouses of every kind that they would stay free of illnesses free of uh, viral infections free of flu bugs that COVID-19 that you just lift that COVID-19 uh, and all these viral infections off of our country dear god in the name of Jesus lift it off of our country now and off of our world just take it out just remove it from the world all of that COVID-19 we pray in the name of Jesus but Lord dear God we pray dear God for all of our truckers to stay free Dear God, of, of any kind of viral infection, flu bug, or any kind of COVID-19, Lord, and send drivers to drive the truck, send workers to work in all the areas uh, of the stores, and work in all the stores, that they'd all be, uh, never be understaffed in any way, and none of the warehouses be understaffed. And now we pray, dear God, Father, Lord, that you protect all of our internet services. Oh, Father, they'll be free of any kind of uh, interruption or any kind of a breakdown, or any kind of a fiber optic cable uh, problem, or any kind of thing with any kind of a cyber attack, or anything like that, but just protect them like that in every way, protect all of our grids, and all of our grids, our electric grids, and all of our other grids, and Lord, against uh, terrorism, but Lord, dear God, just protect all of those that work with the internet services, in any capacity, dear Father, that they would, uh, would uh, be free of any kind of illness, any kind of uh, viral infection, flu bugs, dear God, or COVID-19 in any way. Lord, that they may be able to be efficient in every way, dear God. And Lord, dear God, that you, I pray, dear God, Lord, now, dear God, for, for uh, oh, dear God, oh, dear Jesus, I, I pray, dear God, Lord, that you help the, uh, the, all of our internet services to increase their efficiency and their speed and everything, especially the upload speed. But, Lord, dear God, Father, I pray now, dear God, for, for our uh, Google YouTube workers, dear God, that they would be free of flu bugs, 
free, be free of viral infections, be free of COVID-19, and every, and they'd be they'd be completely free of any kind of susceptibility to COVID-19. That they would stay fully staffed, and they'd have plenty of workers, dear God, and and they'd never be overworked, and always uh, uh, have a good night's rest, dear God, but uh, never being overworked, and and uh, the Lord Father that uh, be rested and efficient in every way, and enjoy their job in every way. Always be completely and fully staffed so that they can enjoy their work. And Father, dear God, Lord, now that you help them, dear God, all of those that work with the computer systems, dear God, and all those that repair the computers, and those that work with putting the systems together, and those that work with the with the servers, and those that work with backing up the servers and the computers that deal with that. And Lord, Father, to all of those that work with those computers, dear God, that, uh, the computers that deal with the uploading or the deal with the checking or the processing or any other thing like that, Lord, Father, all those YouTube workers, dear God, uh, organization of the videos and so forth. Oh, Father, dear God, that you just protect them and keep them free of illness and keep them full of, of the joy and the enjoyment of their work and, and never, let them, never let the work tire them and let it keep them efficient in every way. And Father, dear God, now, oh, Father, dear God, we just pray, I pray, dear God, Lord, now for my, my computer that it will always will upload efficiently that you keep it all keep it all free of any kind of bugs or any kind of problems or any kind of uh, any kind of a thing that would cause it to be a breakdown anyway. Lord, it would always be efficient, uh, Lord, without any glitches or anything to upload the videos perfectly in every way. And help me, dear God, that uh, everything will be uh, 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 be able to not make any mistakes, dear God, not forget anything, Lord, that, that I would be perfectly efficient in uploading and perfectly efficient in doing videos, that everything that would go, by that go up efficiently and, and on time and everything would work out well, but just to oh, yeah, correct any problems that ever would have happened, dear God, and Father, I pray in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, now that you'd protect our pets and bless our pets in, in every way, Father, dear God. Help them, dear Father. Oh, dear God. And uh, <laughs> help our pets, dear God, uh, especially our little doggies and our kittens and all those, dear God. But all of our pets, <laughs> Lord, dear God, uh, to keep them free of diseases and illnesses and free of pests. And pre, uh, pre of things like mange or ticks or, or fleas or any of those kinds of things. That you just keep them feeling good and, and uh, vibrant and, and free of all diseases and uh, attacked by wild animals and all that kind of thing, Lord. And give them the food they need. Keep the supply lines moving efficiently in every way that they'd have the food, pet food they need. And not fire, I pray, dear God, Lord, now that you protect, dear God. We protect as we started to pray uh, the livestock around the country. All the horses and cows and all the other livestock keep them free of illnesses and diseases. And Lord, now we pray, dear God, Father, Lord, <coughs> you protect all of our homeless animals and all those in the shelters and everything, Lord, that you provide all of them uh, forever homes in a loving atmosphere and a heavenly, heavenly atmosphere, God, with a loving home that cares for them and, and takes pride in them and enjoys have, being with them, enjoys having them, enjoys playing with them, Lord, and that has a. a <coughs> will provide them with good, uh, that they will always have good, nutritious, wholesome food, good, nutritious, wholesome, tasty food, that you'll put all of our, you'll empty out our shelters and send them all. They'll all be able to go to forever homes with good, nutritious, tasty food in a heavenly atmosphere. We pray in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. And now we pray, <coughs> pray, dear Father, dear God, that you would, uh, Father, we pray that you would bless uh all of our uh, uh, all of our homeless people and uh, wherever they might be on the in, uh, on the streets or or any place like that where they might need <coughs> shelter <coughs> you would provide them with the shelter they need dear God you would provide them with a the daily bread dear God you would provide them with a great joy and a great peace and a great happiness in their life a great purpose of their life dear God Oh, dear, keep them free of any kind of disease or illness dear God. keep them free of COVID-19 keep them free of flu bugs of every kind Lord and colds and flus and viral infections and Lord but just give them a purpose a great purpose in their life dear God and Father dear God uh, uh, we just pray I pray dear, dear Father Lord uh, oh dear God provide them uh, uh, with uh, the, the shelter they need and the daily bread that they need and and, and and heal them dear God of any kind of craving dear God for, addic for drugs or alcohol heal them of all addictions uh, to alcohol and all their addictions to drugs Lord to be able to overcome that and they'd be able to have that great joy and that purpose in their life, free of all drugs and free of all uh, uh, all uh, alcoholic addictions, dear God. We pray in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. And now we pray, dear God, Lord, now we pray, dear God, for 
uh, that we will have a, a wonderful rest of the day and the rest of the morning, rest of the afternoon and evening. Lord, that you just give us a, a wonderful, blessed time, dear God, free of sicknesses and diseases, free of illnesses, free of COVID-19, free of, dear God, of flu bugs, infections of every kind, free of tumors, dear God. You just you just heal people of tumors and deal away with their tumors and every way, any kind of tumors fascinating, dear God, to their to their, uh, to their their cerebral tissue and any kind of headaches, migraine headaches, or the strokes and, and the heart diseases, and dear God, and all of those kinds of things, dear God, and epilepsy and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Alzheimer's, dear God, and heart diseases of every kind, diabetes, dear God. He healed people of all these things, dear God. And now we pray, dear Father, Lord, that you give us joy. Give us a joy. Give us an evangelic outreach. Give us a love for the lost. And, and help us this evening, dear God, that we would enjoy our devotion time. We'd enjoy our Bible study time. Dear God, and uh, and uh, everything will go well with our prayer life and all of our in our in our prayer rooms and everything, Lord. That we'd that we'd have a good time of prayer and a good time of, of fellowship with our friends, a good time of fellowship with with relatives and and all of those that we know. Dear God, we'd have a good time of fellowship, dear Father, and a good time of uh, of enjoying our. Uh, all of our life and our work and our home and everything, dear God, we'd be grateful and have a have be great have grateful hearts in every way. But Lord, dear God, that we would have a good night's rest tonight. Dear God, give us a good night's rest. Rejuvenate, rejuvenate us in our sleep every night, Lord. Give us good rejuvenating sleep every night that we may be full of vim and bigger every day to work for you in a mighty way and an efficient way and a loving way. Dear God, to win many souls. And Lord, dear God, just bless us like that in every way. Keep us, keep us with grateful hearts and joyful hearts. Keep us with a joy and speak with a full of glory. And keep us with a great love upon our heart and joy in our soul. Dear God, to win souls. And Lord, now we pray, dear God, Lord, that you would just continue to bless us in prosperity in every way. And give us peace and joy in every way, we pray. And ask all these things in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.